The American West has been bound by a myth that features a frontiersman on the edge of civilization. There are numerous examples that highlight this myth in film and literature and in artistic representation. However, there are problems with this myth, a narrative that has become embedded in our national psyche. The story of the West as seen in movies and outlined in literature often neglects the other. It fails to account for the voices of marginalized groups, for the voices of indigenous nations and females. Ultimately, it has become a romanticized story of hyper-masculinity informed by Anglo-American superiority that works to secure the white male identity through domestication, control, and conquest. This is where my work comes in. As a woman, as a native Idahoan, and for the sake of this presentation, an artist, I challenge this troublesome, limited, problematic national narrative. First, I want to identify myself as what the contemporary art world may consider an installation artist. As an installation artist, I work to configure and arrange, compose materials in a space. A key component of this is what political theorist Jane Bennett calls vibrant matter, a term that suggests an active role of non-human materials, a role that arises through social constructions and culture. Essentially, things or materials have the capacity to shape our human experience. So it is through the manipulation of materials, culturally and socially significant to the West, that I challenge the Western myth in its entirety. One material that has played a significant part in the Western frontier narrative is what you may have identified on the screen to be barbed wire. A prolific actor in the conquering of wild lands, barbed wire served in the redefining of boundaries and attempts of ownership and control. What I have done as part of my overall thesis exhibition is take this wire and completely dismantle it by removing the barbs and cutting the wire into small fragments. Through this physical act, I challenge the wire's perceived functionality. Furthermore, I challenge the role of the material in shaping a narrative of hyper-masculine Anglo-American power. The active role of materials like barbed wire may not seem so evident, but it is my objective as an artist to forefront materials power and work to transform the materials role as non-human actants. Thank you.